Today I'm going to show you how to configure this Mindray EPM10, which would be the exact same thing for EPM12 or uh, the M series, but this is, happens to be an EPM10A. Uh, I'm going to show you how to configure this for use with the X-Link adapter. So first things first, I'm going to go to the main menu. We're going to scroll over here and we're going to go to maintenance. And uh, then we have to type the maintenance password. In this case, it's going to be M I N all uppercase. You can tap this to so you can see what you're typing. 888, hit enter. And then we're gonna go over here to the network setup tab. So there's these tabs across the top and you have to use these little arrows to navigate. So we're gonna go to network setup. And then we're gonna go to uh, network type. First of all, you may have the option here to choose something. Uh, you want the LAN, you want the actual physically connected um, network type. And then we can go down here, go down to LAN one IP, and we're going to hard code a very specific IP address. So it may be set to this obtain IP address automatically. That's not what we want. We want to go to use the following address. And that IP address is going to be, we're going to hit the little edit button here. We're going to hit 192.168.0 and then 5. Oops. So we actually want to tap over here and go five. So that's going to be our IP address. And then the subnet mask should be this right here, 255, 255, 255, zero. It's usually that way by default. So you're probably fine there. And then we're going to set the gateway down here. We're going to set it to 192.168.0, and then again, one. So zero and one. We're going to hit enter and we're good to go. Um, then this stuff should all be fine. Um, you can, it should be all right that we're not going to use that for right now. Um, then you need to go down here where it says HL7 configuration. And here we need to set it to exactly what we see here. So the network mode needs to be set to client. The server address should be this right here. So it should be 192.168.0.7. And then the port needs to be set to 5,000. Um, same thing here, you just go in here, you type the number, oops, and you hit enter, you know, make sure it's exactly 5,000. And then for data interval here, you're gonna set this to the shortest available time. So um, this one's a little bit interesting because um, some of these will actually have one second as an option, some will have 10 seconds as an option. The point is set it to the shortest interval that you have available, and then you wanna make sure you set send waveforms to true, but that's only relevant if you have the waveform feature enabled on your account. So if you have the account that allows you to capture waveforms, you wanna make sure that you actually, that the monitor actually sends those waveforms to XChart. So you wanna make sure that that's enabled. So again, to review client mode, uh, 192.168.0.7, Port 5000 data interval should be the shortest available, which will be either probably 10 seconds or one second. And then send data should be on, send waveforms should be on. Um, the rest of this isn't relevant for right now. So um, yeah, that's it. Those are the things that you need to change. And then you'll wanna hit the X here just to kind of apply everything. And sometimes for good measure, we recommend just turning the monitor all the way off and back on again, just to make sure that these settings are getting applied. You have to push this for quite a while for it to actually shut off, but there you go. All right, so when I say the word X-Link adapter, what I'm referring to is this device right here. And these can look a little bit different, uh, but should be the same basic idea for all of them. So um, what you'll wanna do first is just, you'll get these cables in the box. Um, you'll wanna connect this for power and uh, the little short ethernet cable here as well. So you'll plug that in here and you'll plug both of these into the back of the monitor. So. The USB port is just supplying power, so you can do it either one of these, um, any free port on the back, and then uh, you'll want to plug this into the Ethernet port here. Then um, this is the portion we're going to connect to the computer, so this will go in here, and you can screw it down snug, not too tight, but just enough so that it doesn't fall out and that it stays nice and snug. And then uh, you'll just want to plug this and into your computer when we get to that point. So that's how you connect it to the back of the monitor. Okay, so the monitor's on uh, and now we're here just in a Chrome browser. We're gonna go to xchart.com slash test. 
which will open a fake case for us here. We're going to say, yep, I understand. This is a demo case. And then we're going to select Mindray HL7 over here. So um, next, it's going to give you the option here to show connection selector. So this is where we actually pick which connected device uh, we're wanting to use. I'm going to hit this. And there's a few things listed here already. But um, what I wanted to show you is this. So right now it's disconnected here. But as soon as I plug this in, we should see another item appear here. If you don't see something show up when you plug this in with this window open, it means that you're missing a driver for your computer. And you can go to help.extra.com and search for driver, and we'll help you figure out how to get that connected. Or you can email us at support at extra.com. But, um, so we're gonna select the one that popped up here. We're gonna, we're gonna hit connect, and it should just immediately show you uh, that, hey, we're now connected. So what I've done now is I actually connected um, a nasal cannula that I'm wearing to the monitor. And uh, it's now saying that we have some end, end title CO2, just so we get some numbers in here. I'm gonna select use this connection. And then uh, because this particular account has the waveform featured enabled, um, we can actually jump here to waveforms. You'll see this show up here. And um, we'll be able to actually see the end title CO2 waveform coming in um, you know, from the monitor uh, directly into Xchart here as well, which also lets us do other cool things. So we can actually go in here and we can actually capture some of these waveforms. So we can say capture, save the snapshot. And when we do this, we can make a note about it if we want. Uh, it shows up on the final report here as a separate page. So in this way, we can take snapshots of waveforms coming from these monitors and put them directly into the report, which is super awesome to be able to demonstrate kind of uh, anything odd that you see that you want to capture on your report. Anyway, that's it. That's how you connect the uh, EPM series um, using the X-Link adapter. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.